Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It is Dion. If this is your first time watching, welcome. My videos are just a hodgepodge of <laughs> whatever's going on in my mind that day or whatever has been on my mind. This video is makeup therapy for me. I, um, I don't know quite how to say it without being sad. <laughs> I have a family member who's in the process of passing away and so it's been touch and go emotional ups and downs and so I just got back home from visiting and on my way home I'm like I really just want to cry and then I'm like you know what let me just do something to distract myself for a few minutes so I said you know what I'll do a video and just have makeup therapy and so I'm not actually going to do my face I have a base face on which is wiped off on one of my cousins who kept hugging me, um, he's nine years old and he's special needs and his way of saying hi is to come up, hug you, rub on you. <laughs> so my face was all over his shirt. Anyway, I'm going to show you all of my makeup palettes. This is kind of a clickbait because I only have six. <laughs> Seven? Six? Am I missing one? <laughs> I have six palettes. All of my eyeshadow palettes Something that um, I talked about in the video I have, how to buy less makeup, is when I look at an eyeshadow palette, I really, I take time to think about, do I have any similar colors? And if I'm looking at a palette and it's beautiful and I'm like, oh, I gotta have it, I start thinking. And I'm like, I do have almost all of those colors. They're in different palettes, but I have them. So whatever look that I could do with that palette, I can do with other stuff. And so it has helped me to reduce buying eyeshadow palettes. The ones I've been getting in subscription boxes... They really didn't fit for me, and so those are none of these. And so I'm going to just go through and show you each of my eyeshadow palettes just to lighten my mood. So yes, this video is partially about me, but also for you guys to see what I have and why. And none of these are anything at all new. The newest one is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan palette. Everything else is, is not new at all. So I'm going to start with the one that you all know and most of you love. The Urban Decay Naked Palette. I just love this and how it feels. I just love to hold it. <gasps> mm -hmm. I want a Hershey bar. <laughs> and so you guys know what, know what this looks like. And I actually do use the brush that it comes with. This... Sometimes I do, you know, I'll use these four and do a look. I'll do the next four and do a look. I'll do this four and do a look. Or I'll just mix it up. Do the neutrals, as if they're all not neutrals. Do the neutrals and then do an outer V um, or lower lash line. I'll pop Hustle on the lid. Is that even Hustle? This one is Hustle. I'll pop that on the lid. Um, usually, I use Buck and or naked as a transition palette or sometimes I'll do naked first and then I'll use the buck these two sometimes I use inner corner sometimes I don't and they're a little light for me for a brow highlight because I have a tendency to be heavy-handed with shadows and so I'll sometimes do here 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 or I'll just completely just mix it up or put this on the lid do a smoky look with these and have you know these for transitions or whatever this one I like which one is that half baked I like this one as a topper because for my skin tone it just shows up like a like a, a slight shimmer it doesn't really show up as a shade much and so I use this one as a topper and so when I see a palette that's warm tone I don't really I don't look good in cool tones it just makes me look like I'm dead it's uh, it's not a good look but if I see a palette that I like and it is mostly warm tones I think especially if it's a neutral warm tone palette I'm like I already kind of have that and if I want to smoke it out I have you know these over here so this is one of actually all of these are my go-to's but this is my go-to go-to because it's so easy it's hard for me to mess up a look doing um, my eyeshadow with this palette it's just hard for me to mess up with this one and I really enjoy it and yes I too I'm glad that I gave it a second chance because when it came out originally I purchased it and I'm like ah because I never used any of these and so I felt like I was just wasting a palette because I wasn't using all of the shades but then when I gave it a second chance which I'm glad I did I 
am absolutely loving it. My other Urban Decay palette, the next oldest one, I was going to do my other Urban Decay, but the next oldest one I have, um, and these are all within like the last two years. So when I say oldest, I mean been around the longest, is Inglot. And back in the day, I was like an Inglot whore. I was like on Inglot's lap. Like y'all need to send me free stuff. Because there was one point, all of my eyeshadows were in Inglot. And I had like eight Inglot palettes. And it was absurd. I like this one because it is hard plastic and it's magnetic. I can't even pull it off. I have to slide it a little bit. And then <laughs> slide it. And it's magnetic on all four corners. And of course, no, it doesn't have a mirror as you see. And this is magnetic on all four corners as you see. So you just slip it. So I slide it <laughs> and then I take it off. Or usually I just leave it like that because that'll stay. And this is a mix between mattes. There's a pearl. Actually, it's, it's almost all of them. What are different finishes? This is an AMC shade, which is like a slight shimmer. There's a few mattes in here. One, two, three, four, five mattes in here. This is one of their mattes. No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five mattes. This is a pearl shade. I love. I absolutely love this color. And this will be probably the only one that I swatch. That's my color right there. That's my color. It's coming up darker in person. Yes, I did get a new ring light that I'm still trying to play around with. What is the best one? You can make it cooler, um, warmer. This is all the way up. And yes, it's hot. But that's my color. And it's 450 Pearl. I love it. I didn't bring a, a washcloth to wipe my... <laughs> I never do eyeshadow with my fingers. I'm just being really silly right now. I don't have anything to wipe my hands on. Is anything there? <laughs> Makeup therapy. And look, it's off, almost all, all the way off my finger. So I, this is rubbing it hard, like that hurts. But yeah, these shadows are lovely. This, uh, let me see. This is a DS, which is double shine, I think. So it's like sparkly. And that's the different finishes in here. They're AMCs, they're pearls, double shine, and they're mattes. And so this, of course, is a warm tone look with the pop right here. <laughs> Love this palette. I don't use this as much as, as I used to, but I still really love it. Um, another one I had, I don't know, I don't know where or how I heard of Pretty Vulgar. Oh my gosh. This expired. I put a sticker on the back, a label that says when they expire, because this one I think was for two years. Yeah, two years. So I've had this for two years. Let me look at these other ones. Yes, yeah, it says expired March 2019. Dang. Oh, well, I guess that means I gotta buy another one, right? So this is the Pretty Vulgar Phoenix Rising palette. I don't know where I've seen or heard of this from. But I really, this whole piece up here is a mirror. It doesn't fold all the way back, so. How am I going to do this? I am going to do it like that. This, look at this palette, guys. Guys and gals. It is beautiful. Well, for me, and this, this is my color too right here, which, you know, I lied. I'm going to swatch it. I'm going to swatch it next to... Oh, wow. That is almost the same shade. It's a little... You guys know how I am with colors. <laughs> this one looks a little warm, warmer than this one, but they could actually pass for the same color applied to the lid. And that's another thing. Like, when you see shadows and, you, and it's like, oh, well, this isn't exactly the same, but once you put it on, it may look the same. And I have, and every like month or so, I'll go through my palettes and see, do I have duplicates? And if so, I'll get rid of a palette, which is how I got down to only six palettes. And I, I just love it. These shadows, I do not have any fallout. There's hardly any kick up in the pan when I use it. I can just do neutrals. I can add colors. I can do smoky. I have, you know, we have this purple down here. You have this shade. 
you have darker colors you can do for your lower lash line or for eyeliner these three up here I don't really use the one in the middle is a matte so I may sometimes use that as a brow bone highlight but other than that these two I don't use because they're shimmery and I'm 49 years old and I don't need shine on my face but this I love it and it sucks that it expired a couple months ago Dang. See, now I have to get something that has these colors. But I probably won't. I don't know. But I really do like it. And I really like this. This is like a burnt orange or like a rust color, which I really, really like too. This one right here. So I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this. And I think I got it from on Amazon. I got it from on Amazon. But they do, they did have it at Sephora. I don't know if it's discontinued or not. Another one I saw, I saw this on think on YouTube and then I went to I went online to search for it and I saw this on Amazon and I'm like what is this foiled again the company is called the bomb and I think my light might be too bright to see that and it's called foiled again foil eyeshadow palette and the cartoon thing I'm not kind of really feeling that but I'm just like you know they have the colors and the names on the back which is nice I'm seeing all sorts of reflections and this does fold back, which is great because there's a mirror over here. And these are the shades, says the Deli Press. It's like a newspaper. Tiger Bomb, ti the bomb girl catches your eye. And then it says something that's not in English. San Francisco Foiled Edition, Edition Avenue Film, Volume 1. So it's supposed to be like a newspaper article. What I just read was up here. But this is a really nice palette. Um, Let me see. The four at the bottom these four are mattes these four are mattes and all of these are shimmers but because i can do you know brow bone highlight transition i can smoke it out or use for out of corner i don't mind all of these eight up here being shimmers because usually i don't like all shimmer palettes and the shimmer in this palette they're not super super shimmery so i can wear them and i feel like oh my gosh i'm trying to run for my my middle age and trying to recapture my youth sort of thing which for me doesn't look good but this palette I really really like these colors and I really enjoy it and it's also hard for me to mess up with this palette because some of these up top are kind of neutral and so when I do a look even if I use these for well this one here in particular I'm um, as a transition shade or I'm using these for you know outer V or under my lower lash line that leaves me with all of these other colors to pop on my lid so it gives me a really nice look and because they are all sort of mid-range neutral it's hard for me to mess up with this palette too and I did not put when this expires this says 12 months and so this one might be expired too because I've had this for a while what am I only gonna have four eyeshadow palettes okay somebody help me then <laughs> The next one is my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. You guys have seen this, and I do really like the packaging. Some people had an issue with it because they said she didn't go to all of these places. She just kind of found photos. I'm like, who cares? You know, this expires next year. Is that 20? Yeah, 2020. So I have another year to use this palette. And I like that it folds all the way back. The, the other side, the entire side is a mirror. You guys have seen this all over YouTube, I'm sure. I love this palette. I can mess up with this one if I go too far with one of these bright colors. <laughs> one of these in here. Some of the shimmers I use as toppers. This one I love. It's a dual chrome. I absolutely love that color. This one right here. I love this one as well. And that one I, I tend to think is dual chrome too. But because I think my color perception is kind of off, I'm not really sure. But this one definitely is. And I love these deeper shades here. Actually... I love I love the whole palette, but if I had to make a palette <laughs> out of this one, I would take this row, this entire row, and these three, and maybe like one or two up here for <laughs> highlight and transition and this one. So actually the whole palette I would keep, except I would get rid of um, one of these four that are up here. I'm just making up stuff but yeah I would just get rid of one of these four but everything else I use in here and I love and I use these interchangeably and sometimes I'll just put them in as transition just to use it and then I'll put another transition on top of it or deepen it with another color from in here just to use it up but I I love this palette 
The last one, the newest one that came out, even though it came out like how long ago, is the Fenty Moroccan palette. I hesitated getting this one because I kept feeling like I had these shades and I'm not a shimmer person. And so when I looked at it, I was like, I'm not really sure. You know, because all of these, except for these four here, they're all kind of mid-range warm tone. And I'm like, I kind of have those already. And I constantly look at it with, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to hold it up. I constantly compare it to, I do not want to make a mess. I constantly <laughs> compared to you know let me put this down because this will be easier to do it this way <laughs> i constantly compare to the born to the mm, i constantly compare the fenty moroccan palette with urban decay born to run because the, the color story is similar it is really similar and so i kind of wish one of these had expired versus um the pretty vulgar one because as I was saying earlier, some colors may look a little bit different, but when you apply them, they look the same. And the same with these four at the top here. That's how I feel about these four down here. And plus, these are all shimmery down here. The ones in the Born to Run, um, they're like, there's one that's matte and the other three are like semi-matte. And so, and I keep going back and forth and I have done swatches trying to figure out, do I want to keep both of these? The answer is yes, because I really like them. This one, I do get a little kickback, but not much. But the same with this one. Um, I, I don't get a lot of fallout, very minimal fallout. And I just really like the colors. This one is hard for me to mess up with as well. Well, no, this one, because I can go overboard. But I just, you know, I can pick up either one of these. Actually, any one of my six palettes. <laughs> and make a look on the fly and not have to put too much thought or energy into oh my gosh what am i going to do because any any color in here you can just pop it next to the other one they all play so well together you can just put whatever on your lid and in your crease and it will come out looking nice because i've started with some looks and i thought oh my gosh this is going to be a disaster and then when i got done i'm like you know what? this is kind of cute and so these are all of my eyeshadow palettes this one I really like, and I wish I would have used it more. So that's the Pretty Vulgar Phoenix Sun. Phoenix Rising. They have a cool tone when I forget what it's called, and I thought about buying it, but as I kept looking at it, I'm like, you know what, I don't really look good in cool tones, and I would have definitely had to pair it with another palette to make it look right with me and for me not to look like I was in a coffin. So these are my eyeshadow palettes. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see looks with any of these... Um, or a video like three looks with one palette and how they you know you split it up and the video might be as long as this one like 12 minutes but you'll see like three different looks or something um, or I'll just do looks and do like a slideshow let me know how you guys want me to do that I'm not good with doing one eye off camera and coming back and doing the other one because then it always just kind of looks really different like one crease color is up higher this lid color is not I don't know and it's like people do that and I'm like how do you do that I've been doing makeup now, like, ugh, probably about, dang, almost 20 years, which isn't a lot compared to some people, but you would think I would know how to do one eye and then do the other eye later and it looked the same. My brain is weird. I, I don't know. But let me know if you guys want to see looks, if you want to see multiple looks with one palette, and if you want to actually see me do tutorials, or just do the look and come on here and say this shade is here and this shade is there and then i put this in my outer corner um because i do want you guys to see what you want to see and yes i'm still going to do poly videos I always say what do you want to see and then i haven't done those videos yet so thank you for joining me for my makeup therapy and i do feel a little better but i do kind of feel like i might want to eat like a pint of ice cream <laughs> just come for food or something lay on lay on the couch and just veg out and just Maybe just cry and get it out. But thank you for keeping me company. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you think you might like my channel, because I am a little quirky. I, I got some issues. But if you like that kind of stuff, 
go ahead and subscribe click the notification bell because i understand youtube is really weird about their algorithms and people not seeing videos um and comment whatever videos of mine you do watch leave a comment because i would love to hear what you think about whatever i babbled about and also do any of you have these palettes and if so like how do you like them or did you have them and you got rid of them you didn't like them um do you think about what you have at home before you buy new palettes or do you just buy stuff because like oh this is awesome i used to do that and i spent so much money and then stuff would expire and i'm like that was a waste but i was younger too and i had more disposable income <laughs> I had lost my mind. That's what it was. I was just buying everything. I'm about to babble, so I won't. Thank you guys for watching, and you will see me in the next video. Thank you. See you soon.